Mike, we want to follow up on all of this. Now we want to turn to CNN's Bill Delaney following up on the story from Boston and Logan Airport. Uh, Bill, as Mike noted, there has been a path already traced over all these different cities across the world as well. And at Logan and in the Boston area, there is evidence and indication that those involved may have been doing more, making some more inquiries in that area. Well, many fragments, many strands. Investigators here in the New England region following thousands, really tens of thousands of leads as they try to understand how 10 hijackers hijacked those two 767s last Tuesday. Now, one intriguing fragment. I'm standing at Eastern Air Charter in Norwood, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston, where law enforcement officials and other sources tell us several days before the hijacking, uh, men identified as Middle Eastern types were here at Eastern Air Charter making inquiries. They wanted to know about chartering a twin-engine jet. They wanted to know about that jet's fuel capacity. They wanted to know how soon they could charter such a jet. Could they do it quickly? And they wanted to know how long it would take to fly to New York. Now, one high law enforcement official I spoke to said to me, Joey, he believed that there was a high possibility, he said, that these were either the hijackers themselves or another team. Now, of course, the FBI hasn't ruled out the possibility that other teams are still at large. Eastern Air Charter officials themselves downplaying all this. But another source told us law enforcement authorities have been here, he said, tearing the place apart. A couple of other strands of many here. The Portland Press Herald reporting today uh, that in Portland, Maine, one of the hijackers, it is reported, had lived for at least a year and may have had a relationship, in fact, with a local woman. Amid other reports from many sources today, FBI sources, that the planning for all this, of course, took many, many years. Back to you, Joey. CNN's Bill Delaney following up with more parts of the investigation up in Boston. Thanks very much, Bill.